The Pink Fury is finally upon us inside of Clash Mini. And in today's video, I put her head to head against all of the other heroes inside of the game, just to see how strong she really is. The match one is against the Wave Master. We've got the Pink Fury versus the Wave Master. And you can see the six above the Pink Fury. That's because we had six elixirs saved. So she does do extra damage output. That's one of the perks of the Pink Fury. And the Wave Master does get his super off first. Pink Fury's charge up. There goes the Hammer Slam. Dealing 40 damage. And easily takes out the Wave Master in his 1v1. But the Pink Fury had about half health left there. So the Wave Master done a better job than what I thought. That was match one. Pink Fury versus Wave Master. Match two is against the Barbarian King. And don't forget the Barb King's got that invulnerability. Once his health drops below a certain point, he does get that shield of inv invulnerability. So there's the Supers charged up. 40 damage from the Pink Fury. There goes the Barbarian King shield. He has got a little bit of health saved up, but the Pink Fury gets the super charge up again. And the Barbarian King done a better job than the Wave Master. The Pink Fury had just less than half health. That was another win for the Pink Fury against the Barbarian King. Match 3 is against the Monk. And you know the Monk on 1v1s is super OP. Can one shot his opponents, doing massive damage. We can see the super's charging up. Who's going to get the super off first? And it is the Pink Fury. The supers charge up at the same rate because the animation for the Pink Fury, she's able to get a super off much quicker than the Monk. The Monk went to cast his super, he pulled his arm back to do that palm strike. But the Pink Fury just went pop, knocked him out first. Quick animation, round win to the Pink Fury. Next up, we've got the Nature Born, but in deer form. She has got two forms, but we're doing the deer form first. Nature Born Super goes off first. Bit of health there, put back into her. She's doing some nice damage. She does survive the super of the Pink Fury. She gets health put back into herself. And the Pink Fury, is the Nature Born gonna win? Oh, so close. Pink Fury gets the second super off just in the nick of time. Knocks the Nature Born out. The Nature Born so far has done the best out of all the heroes we've seen. Very nearly took the Pink Fury out there. So that was unfortunate, but it was a round win to the Pink Fury nonetheless. Next up, we've got the Nature Born in human form. She's going to be able to get the hits off first because of the range, but she has got much less HP. There goes the super. Pink Fury's charging up. Boomf. Takes out the Nature Born in human form with one shot. She has got the range with the DPS there, but her health is much lower. That was an easy round win for the Pink Fury in that round. So the next matchup is against the Skeleton King. And we've just done one round previously against the other he heroes because the Pink Fury does get stronger. So if she's just winning round one, she's going to win in rounds two and three. But you can see here, the Skeleton King coming in here. Dealing with this Pink Fury, super easy. And that is a round win for the Skeleton King in matches one. We're going to go into match two. You can see there's 15 Elixir left there. So the Pink Fury is going to get more damage output and movement speed and things like that. She's going to do things quicker. So can she deal with the Skeleton King in rounds number two with more Elixir? It doesn't look like she's going to be able, guys, because that Skeleton King with that dissipate, stopping the Pink Fury from charging a super up. But she's doing some nice damage. She does do a lot more damage in that round than the first round. But it is a round two win for the Skeleton King. And as the Pink Fury met a match with the old Skeleton King here in this matchup, 24 Elixir going into round number three against the Skeleton King. And she pull it out the bag and come back here with the 24 Elixir. Attack speed's increased. She's doing more damage. But again, the dissipate on the Skeleton King just makes it too difficult. For the Pink Fury, and she does do more damage than the previous round in that matchup. But finally, a matchup for the Pink Fury with the Skeleton King, and he does come in, beat the Pink Pink Fury three games to nil. GGs. Next up, we have the Grand Warden, and I think this is going to be an easy win for the Pink Fury because the Grand Warden does work better when he's got units on the board. He gets that buff off his units and stuff. And there goes the Super from the Pink Fury, and that is an easy. Win for the Pink Fury against the Grand Warden. What we expected, guys. GG's. Next match is against the Royal Champ. And this is going to be interesting because if the Royal Champ can get a super off first, she might be able to do nice damage. She does get a super charge up more or less first. No, she doesn't. Pink Fury gets a super charge up first, even though the Royal Champ gets the hits off first. Super interesting. But again, easy win for the Pink Fury there, coming in against the Royal Champion. Next up, we've got the Shield Maiden. And I do put the Pink Fury inside the Shield Maiden's radius there for the reduced damage, just to make it a fair test. And you can see the supers are charged up at pretty much the same rate. The Shield Maiden super goes off with the Pink Furies. And the Pink Fury does do the damage back to herself. And the Shield Maiden comes in, takes round number one. Super interesting. 
Like I say, we've got 15 Elixir going into the next round with the Pink Fury. How is the Shield Main going to fare up to a more powerful Pink Fury going into round number two? Round number two kicks off. There goes ability from the Shield Maiden. Again, the supers are charging up at the same rate. There goes the super from the Pink Fury first before the Shield Maiden, which I found interesting. And the Pink Fury comes in and takes round number two. So I thought the Shield Maiden would get a super off at the same time as the Pink Fury, and the Pink Fury just knock herself out again, which he didn't in rounds number two. You can see the supers charged up there again at the same time. And there goes the super from the Shield Maiden at the same time as the Pink Fury, but the Pink Fury didn't get any damage reflected back to her, which is pretty interesting in my opinion. Could that be a bug in the game? I don't know, but it was a round number three to the Pink Fury nonetheless. And we've got 31 Elixir going into this final round with the Pink Fury. And look at that, 165 damage going into that final round. Gets the super off before the Shield Maiden. She put up a valiant effort. She did take the first round, but it was a 3-1 victory for the Pink Fury against the Shield Maiden. And we've got the Archer Queen. And this could be an interesting one because if the Archer Queen can get her invisibility off before the Pink Fury gets the super off, she might be able to do some nice damage. There goes the Pink Fury super, and she doesn't get the invis off. Before the Pink Fury knocks her out with the super. That was unfortunate. Didn't do much damage for the Archer Queen, but that's what we expected. That was an easy round win for the Pink Fury against the Archer Queen. So last but not least, is against the Count S. And the Count S comes in against the Pink Fury. And the Count S is going to get her super off first. But it's going to be a little too late because the Count S is super squishy. Once the Pink Fury is charged at Super Up, bonks it with the hammer, and it's a knockout. And that is a win for the Pink Fury against Count S. GG's. There we have the Pink Fury 1v1 against all the heroes inside of Clash Minion. The only hero to stand up for the Pink Fury was the Skeleton King. But I'm super excited to see the Pink Fury brought into the game. She has got a certain skill set. She has got certain mechanics in the game. It's going to make it super interesting. I think the meta is going to be super fun for this season. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.